Despite often looking like random letters and numbers, model numbers contain a lot of information about a particular product. To help the model number or nomenclature make better sense, this video will explain the nomenclature for the S series of Danfoss compressors. Nomenclature is used to describe the features that each compressor offers. This is signified by a letter or a number and by its location in the nomenclature. Another method used to define a specific compressor is the Danfoss part number. The part number for these compressors is based off the nomenclature and will generally follow a pattern. To begin, here is an example of the nomenclature used for the S-series compressors. The first two digits of the nomenclature signify the product family, as well as the refrigerant and compatible lubricant that the compressor uses. The first digit, in this case S, signifies a scroll compressor used in commercial and large commercial applications. The second digit signifies what refrigerants and lubricants with which the compressor is compatible. The next three digits of the model number signify nominal capacity of the compressor in thousands of BTUs per hour. As seen in this table, the nominal capacity is determined using standard AC conditions with 45 degrees Fahrenheit for the evaporating temperature and 130 degrees Fahrenheit for the condensing temperature. The sixth digit in the nomenclature signifies the UL index or UL certification. The seventh digit in the nomenclature signifies the voltage code. This is denoted by a number which defines the voltage, number of phases, and frequency. The eighth and possibly ninth digits signify the version index which specifies the types of motor protection and connection used. The motor protection type will be an internal overload protector, an internal thermostat, or an electric protection module. The connection type will either be brazed or rotolock fittings. Certain features in the version index will only apply to compressors of a specific capacity or range of capacities. The last digit or two of the nomenclature signify the evolution index. This denotes a design change to the compressor which will affect the product specifications. The evolution index will be either one or two digits. If two digits, the first one will be the letter A. Depending on the model of the compressor, the nomenclature will vary between eight and ten digits in length. If provided with a complete and current nomenclature or model number, Danfoss technical support will be able to convert that number into its various part numbers, which are used to order replacement parts. Part numbers look similar to model numbers, though with fewer details. Now we will look at how a Danfoss compressor model number compares to a part number. Here are a few examples. If you have any further questions regarding compressor nomenclature not addressed in this video, please contact Danfoss technical support.